I've been reading The Pied Piper by Robert Browning and I was super inspired. Metaphor for what's been going on in this world, how we have been mused into our own destruction. And if you stick to the end, I have a little word for you preppers. And also I will have a way or a means of disconnecting from these powerful elite. Into the street, the piper step, smiling first a little smile as if he knew what magic slept in the quiet pipe a while. Then, like a musical adept, to blow the pipe his lips did wrinkle, and green and blue his sharp eyes twinkled, like a candle flame where salt is sprinkled, and ere three shrill notes the pipe uttered, you heard it as if an army muttered. You, as I did, thought that they were gonna come to us at first, with guns and internment camps, but they fooled us. They are far cleverer than anticipated. Martial law was and is being decreed, but by another name. We didn't see it coming. It came to us with lockdowns, confinement, these, and socialistic style money checks. As the piper said, he knew what magic slept. It is now a medically required aggressive campaign that was enacted before our eyes with the help of the big farms, the media, the Silicon Valley giants, and alleged elects, and by whom whoever would profit. Benefiting in power, not necessarily monetary, simply because we all know that those who are in power need no more money. They've made their filthy riches already. So it is a power that they snatch at. It is the power that motivates their objectives. And the muttering grew to a grumbling, and the grumbling grew to a rumbling. And out of the house, the rats came tumbling. Great rats, small rats, lean rats, brawny rats, brown rats, black rats, gray rats, tawny rats. It appears that half of the world has been hypnotized by this powerful flute of dishonesties. And as for the other half, their words condemned, censored into the eternal silence and being discredited, foretold in the Bible thousands of years before us. You must understand they were given a great deception because of their unwillingness to believe in a God and in a creator. Their non-belief, their skepticism in a creator and their sole trust in science, elected officials and themselves to keep them safe and well. Grave old plotters, gay young friskers, fathers, mothers, uncles, cousins, cocking tails and pricking whiskers, families by tens and dozens, brothers, sisters, husbands, wives, followed the piper for their lives. The tale of the piper could easily suit, could easily fit in as a metaphor for the story of our lives. The dark spiritual powers are having most dance to a piece of music, the hymns to the destruction of all. Who would have even suspected that our highly intelligent, well-educated family and friends and loved ones their thoughts so easily integrated unto this charismatic, hypnotic melody and how could have it happened so fast. This irresistible, persuading ideologies, this bead of drool of those many lying lips. How did liberty and justice for all turn to health and safety for those who comply? and no one else. That piper's fingers, commanding flutists, willsting orders, becking you towards their principles and guiding along the go-alongs to the water's edge in hopes that all fall into the abyss without repenting, godless. This is the piper's ultimate goal, to see all humanity die in sin and without anything to believe in except their lies. 
For the greater good, you are expendable. The greater good is all that matters. Unfortunately, you are not the greater good. But we will promise you health and safety in the periods in between your contemplations. Prepper, you think you're immune, right? You think you're immune? You've got it all figured out and you've done your research. You've been stacking to the roof, right? With that same piper that whistles his flute towards the population to Fearmong is the same flutist that sings the songs to us just with another melody. You see he knows the opposition and how they also hide in sewers. He knows that we are in low places compared to his high prancing dancing grounds up above, up there upon the streets. He awaits placing his ear upon the ground and observes the chantering and ranting of your useless awakenness of this system. He snaps his fingers, he sets the traps, and you are suddenly removed from the room. You are no more, never to be heard of again. Remember that rabbit hole that you've been burrowing deeply underground, thinking that you've discovered, unearthed some dark secrets that will warn the world? Guess what? You've been intentionally led down this hole led down by the piper. See, they want you to become radicalized and aware so that you're an easier target. All fingers are pointing at you. So don't believe that you are immune to the piper's tunes he sings to you unless the be warned. From street to street, he went on advancing and step for step, they proceeded dancing until they came to the river Wesser, where it is all plunged in and perished. So this is how we conclude. This is how the piper snares us with his flute. These poles in our backyards connecting us to the internet, connecting us to the media, there's a simple solution. We disconnect. We stop letting him broadcast his music to us. So, easy solution, disconnect. Start today, limit your, your time on the computer, on the TV, on YouTube. All this is feeding you lies. It is causing people to be anxious and paranoid and seeking guidance, but they're seeking their guidance through these poles, through these frequencies, through this mass blitzkrieg of media. So people, until we meet again, we'll see you.